Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. They just came out with some updates for Premiere Pro, uh, which is version 22.2. .2. And uh, one of the coolest features, I looked through it and they've, they've got some cool little features, some like speed features and little security things that they've kind of updated. But this is one thing that kind of keeps me, a lot of people sometimes will ask me, uh, do you prefer Resolve or do you prefer, prefer, uh, prefer Premiere? And this is kind of, uh, and Resolve is fantastic. It's a fantastic color grading software. It's much better than Premiere as far as color grading is concerned. Uh, bounds ahead of it. But as far as like editing and little features like this that they keep adding, uh, keeps me kind of attached to Premiere for, for, for as, as, a, as an overall kind of production software and editing software. I, I, if I'm doing serious stuff, I go to Resolve for color grading. But Premiere, I'm, I'm kind of, I've been sticking around in Premiere quite a bit for, uh, for some of these features that really speed up editing. And this one here that I really enjoy is their remix tool that they just added. And th this is fantastic because in the past I've been whenever you edit music I've been having to edit it down on the timeline if you have a kind of a stock music file like this one from uh, Incompetech here uh, that I've loaded up here this song is too long for my segment and also if you have the problem that it's too short this is a really cool tool I'm gonna grab my music and I'm gonna drag it down to my timeline here and I've got my music on my timeline I'm gonna uh, gain this a little bit let's hit G for gain and boost it by like six decibels make it a little a little louder there and now when I play this back Got the music playing, but it's uh, but it's obviously too long. And what you would normally have to do before is you'd have to go in and find like a little segment uh, to cut off like this, and then you could shorten this uh, audio where it fades at where the music kind of finishes at the end, finishing at the end here. But then you'd have to find a point to uh, blend that together, and it was a really really has uh, has been kind of a pain in the butt to get it get the beat to, to match and all that stuff. And or or you could even just do this. You could just cut off the end like this, and then you have just this kind of uh, fade out at the end. You could go to the end, and and you can make a little fade out at the end of your music, and then it just fades out like this. But that doesn't sound so good. So it's nice to have music that makes it sound like it was written and, and the pacing was written for your project. So this music kind of fits these like visuals that I've got going here, kind of these these drone shots, these uh, granity mountains and stuff. But I've got the music in there. So let's show you something that's really cool here. So if I have my entire music track down here, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go under my little ripple and roll edit tool here. And they have added a little feature in here. I'm going to hold down my mouse on this and they've added this remix tool. That's right next to the rate stretch the stretch tool. This is kind of similar to the rate stretch, but watch what this does. This is incredible. So at the very beginning, my music fades in, and that works just fine for the beginning. But if I go to the end here, the music, uh, I'm, I'm going to grab my remix tool, and I'm going to grab the edge here, just like I'm trimming it, and I'm going to trim it down to meet the end of my video right there. Now I'm just going to let go, and it opens up the essential audio panel, and this did it really super fast. And it, it, what this has done is it's gone through and it's made an edit. It's made cuts where it's removed portions of the music and blended it together. And it, I don't know how it does it. They say it's using the the Sensei software. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a, but it's fantastic. I mean, listen to this. This is like seamless. This is one of the edits right here. And if we play through that. That is seamless. I cannot tell that there's a beat difference at all. And it fades out at the end. You go to the ending and now then your music fades out at the end. The perfect little, the music ends there, the nat naturally ends. But each one of these points here is an edit. Where it's made an edit, each one of these is is an edit where it's made that edit and it's removed a portion and it's blended it together and it's and like I said it's like every one of these I've tested it several times and every time it is seamless yeah can't hear it at all So yeah, each one of those edits right there where it's removed a portion of the song is, like I said, perfectly seamless. It just like blends through it and it sounds like it was written for it and the pacing is is, uh, is is perfect there. So now if I select this clip here and I go up to this essential sounds panel that it's now added, you have this duration tab. Under the duration tab, it's added, it's, uh, under this duration tab that they've added, they have remix and stretch. So the remix is what's down here. It's, it's this is going to be by far the my my favorite option right there is the remix option. If I hit the stretch, watch what it does. It just basically changes the it, it basically speeds up the tempo of the music. It keeps it maintains the pitch. It maintains the pitch. It doesn't change the pitch. Uh, it has a pitch shifter that keeps it the same pitch, but then it speeds up the the tempo.
and that actually that's actually really cool as well. I don't mind that, but but uh, but I like the remix. I like the tempo of the song, so I'm going to stick with the remix. And uh, down here under customize, you can go down here and customize a little bit. And I I like this as well. And where this really comes in handy is especially if you're uh, if you're not making the music shorter, but you're making it longer to make a longer uh, track. This really helps with with the segments. In fact, let's do this. I'm going to go and grab my uh, clips here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the end of my timeline, and I'm going to paste that. And let's pretend let's pretend that my timeline is uh, twice the length here. So what if I drop this uh, music down into my timeline, it's going to be too short now. So I can go to the remix tool, grab my remix tool, and grab the edge, and I can stretch this out and take it to the end of this video here. It quickly processes, and it has it has actually like some repeating sections in here, kind of, I don't know if this is like during the melody or what it, wh how it determines this, but this is, uh, the only thing that I found wrong is this is it kind of repeats the same thing over and over again to fill in the gaps right there. You can even see the waveforms, how they're exactly the same. It repeats it over. It's seamless, but it's, it gets very repetitive for like a full minute. So what you can do is you can select this here, and you can go up and you can customize the segments. You can make fewer segments. Let's turn that down to just like like one here and then show you what that does. And now it only has one segment. And basically, I, what, I've kind of gone through the song and figured out what it did. It basically kind of repeats the song, but it, it's almost like it's playing the chorus again. So it's And it's only got one edit in it. So that, that's not too bad. So I'm going to undo that, go back to five. Let, let's, let's take this down to somewhere in between, maybe around 2.5, and we have a few edits, and it does repeat kind of this melody in between, but you do have this variations as well. If you want to push it more towards harmonic or, mel or, or melodic, you can do that as well, and it takes different segments of the song and changes up the song. Uh, depending on what you're trying, and uh, depending on what you're trying to do, and I find that if you turn down, I just like to turn this down to fewer here, and you get uh, less repetitions, and I keep the variations in the middle there. But segments, I find if I, you want less segments, I'll turn it down to like one, and it basically repeats the song there, and it blends together, and it sounds like like perfect. I'm gonna even stretch this out a little bit longer because I want that to fade out. And now it's got two. And now by doing that, it's got two edits over that that length. But now my music fades out with the dissolver there. I extended this because it has a little blank audio there at the end, so I want it to kind of fade out with my cross dissolve here at the end. So as we play through, and then it fades out with the video and the timing is perfect. So anyway, really cool tool. I really enjoy it. I'm going to use this a ton, especially when I'm just doing kind of quick videos where I'm just slapping some music on and the music is not written for my project specifically or composed for my project. Uh, re really handy tool. Once again, I can't say enough about it. I think it's amazing, and I love it, and I'm going to use it a ton. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching.